<clears throat> Hello. Uh, I am Najib from Algeria. And in this video, I want to show you the normal definition of a petri net. Okay. We will see an example how to define this uh, network here, this petri net formally. Okay. So before I, I start, I hope that you uh, subscribe to my channel because that uh, motivates me a lot to upload more and more videos about PetriNet. So let's get started. <coughs> Here, a PetriNet is a five tuple uh, where P is a set of places and the T is a set of transitions and I is the input uh, matrix and O is the output matrix and M0 is in the, the initial marking. So let's see an example. Here in our example, P is equal to the set of places here. Here I have P1, P2, and P3. I have three places. So P1, P2, and P3. Okay. So the transitions, so T is the set of transitions. Okay. So here I have just two transitions, T1 and T2, okay? T1 and T2. <clears throat> For I here, I is the input matrix, okay? So I is equal. So here I have two transitions, T1 and T2. And the places I have P1, P2, and P3. Okay. P1, P2, and P3. So this matrix here. So the input, that means that for I here, uh, the input from P0 to P, uh, P0 to T1. So that's uh, T1. And that's P1. So the input here, there is no uh, input arc from P1 to, to T1. So here I will write zero, okay? For P2 now, so I talk always about T1 now. So for P2, I have the input is a three, okay? Uh, for P3 now, so that's P3. So the input from P3 to, P, to T1 is zero. There is no arc. Okay, for T2 now, for this transition here, so the input uh, from P1 to T2 is this edge here with 1. And for P2, so that's P2 here. So there is no uh, input from P2 to uh, T2. Okay, so we just write uh, 0 here. And, excuse me, uh, for P3 now, uh, P3, there is no uh, input from P3 to T2, to T2 so we'll write just 0, okay? So that's for the input matrix. So let's see the output matrix now for this here. We have T1 and T2, we have two transitions, and we have three places, P1, uh, P2, and P3, okay? So here we talk about the output. What does that mean? So the output from T1 to P1 now, so that's T1, to P1 is also zero, okay? Uh, from T1 to P2, so this edge here. Here I, I didn't write any number here, but in PetriNet the convention says that if there is no number, that means one. Okay. Here no number. Here mean one here. Okay. So the output from T2 to P2 is one. Uh, T1 to T3 is one also. Okay, so 
excuse me, here I talk about this transition here. Okay. T1. T1 to P1 is zero. There is no edge from T1 to P1. Uh, from T1 to P2, yes, here, there is four here. This edge, T1 to P2, four. So T1 to P2, four. T1 to P3, this here, there is no edge here, so that's zero here, okay? For T2 now, now I, I talk about this transition here. Uh, so C2 to P1, this here, this edge uh, labeled by 2, uh, T2 to P2 now, this here, 1, uh, T2 to P3, this here, 1. There is no label, that means that 1 here. So that's for the output. For M0, M0 is the initial marking. Okay, so M0 equal... So here, so we must uh, respect this, this sequence here. The first is the... Here, the first is P1, so the marking of P1 is 0, it is 1 here, I have 1 token, okay? And P2, P2 I have 0 token, and P3 I have 2 tokens, okay? So that's the formal definition of this pitling hat, so that's P, that's T, that's I, that's O, and that's M0. Uh, so, in the next video, I will show you an example simulation uh, of Petrinet. Okay? So, that's it. I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you like the video and share it with your friends. And see you later.